Hello, this is going to be a reading for Virgo. Virgo, I'm just shuffling the cards really quick. Okay, I'm shuffling them really quick. I need to find out You need to find out what's going on. I just saw the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Cups. This is my new deck that I got. The Magic of Tarot by Liz Dean. Got it off of Amazon. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Gotta just really get it in here. Let's get it in here. Let's get it in here. All right, Virgo. For you. All right. Bottom, we've got the Six of Pentacles. All right, let's look at the situation. Oh, she's okay. That was very fast. The moon card is the situation right now. That's the situation. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling the energy. It's like, so just don't mind me right now, but I'm just, I'm in this, I don't even know how to explain it. All right, so what's crossing the moon? What's the crossing, what's crossing the moon? The Knight of Cups is crossing the moon. Okay. What's crowning? Five of Wands is crowning. What's below? What's below? Nope, one more. That's it. The Ten of Wands is below. Oh, okay. What is behind? What's behind? Oh. The Three of Cups is behind. What's in front? Oh my gosh. What's in front? What's in front? The Hierophant is in front. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. What is a card for you? Card for you. Oh, the world. And I also got a peek at the Queen of Cups again. But the world. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of stuff happening. Wait, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Just calm. Okay. Um, your environment. Your environment. The Page of Swords in the environment. And hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. The devil. Well, that makes sense. I would fear the devil as well. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the possible outcome. Possible outcome. Possible outcome. The Eight of Swords is the possible outcome. 
and the Queen of Swords at the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I just had a burst of inspiration to do this. So sorry, this is coming out of nowhere and I seem like I'm possessed or something. I'm, I might be, but who knows? <laughs> okay. Um, so the moon card is your situation right now. This is, this is what's going on. The moon. And I'm going to read that. I'm going to read the moon really quick. Yep. Okay. So hold on one second. Okay. We're back. So we got the moon card as the current and the moon cards. Keywords are crisis of faith, indecision, disillusionment, intuition, solitude. As two dogs howl at the moon. Sorry. There's like a, glare. I should probably just turn that. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to turn that off. Where is it? There, that's better. So, <clears throat> um, it's going to do this focusing thing the whole time. Two dogs howl at the moon by a fortified gate. A crayfish writhes, writhes partly submerged in water. Seeing the path ahead of him, he is paralyzed by a decision to stay in safe waters or risk moving beyond the safety of the enclosure. Um, the moon represents hidden issues that are about to emerge. Upright meaning you are doubting your position and must look to your intuition for a solution. Everything looks different under the light of the moon, which indicates a need to discover your inner longings and needs rather than accept surface values. A risk is involved that could take you away from familiar surroundings, but you will need to make your decision about this alone. Oh my God. Yeah. That's your current right now. And what's covering it is the Knight of Cups. I'm going to read that or yeah, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the amiable Knight of Cups possesses dreamy ambition and has fond feelings towards you and his arrival in a reading can predict offers, proposals, new relationships or friends. However, he may not be as action driven as he first appears. So you could find yourself questioning exactly what he is offering you. So perhaps someone is trying to offer you a cup and <clears throat> it says, um, it could be a new friendship as well, new relationship or new friendship, um, that wants to offer you a cup, but perhaps you're at, you're in indecision right now. You're in the moon position because you don't know. Um, if you're ready <clears throat> for something and then of course it doesn't have to be like a romantic thing. It can also be friends that are trying to offer you a cup, but you're, you're being, um, more to yourself and quiet. So you're not really, and they might be worried about you. So perhaps that's what's going on. Um, either way that either you know, thing could be going on right now for you. And then the crown, there's the five of wands. So um, hold on one second. I just want to Oh, okay. My bad. So I'm trying to do it. Celtic cross, right? Sorry. So current circumstances, <laughs> let me brush up on my skills. So, um, the moon is your current situation. The Knight of cups represents what is helping or hindering you. So it could help or hinder whatever this situation is. It doesn't, it's kind of hard to tell 
but it's up to you. It could show up as something that is, um, that is kind of like an obstacle even, but yeah, I don't know. I guess it's not too much different from what I was saying earlier, but the third card, the best you can do at present. So this is saying this is the best you can do currently. So um, the five of wands is you are being tested at the utmost. Conflict surrounds you as you try to make your voice heard. No, however, this is a passing test rather than a serious challenge and is more about ego than dangerous opposition. Hold your position and pay attention to the, to the detail. Double check agreements, schedules, and other arrangements to be sure of your ground. So when this is, this is the best advice, I guess, is just to five, right? Is like, um, and it's the fifth house of Leo actually wands is fire. So, um, just stand your ground and be strong. What is the foundation or the hidden factors? The foundation and the hidden factors is the Ten of Wands. It's something that you're not showing. It's something you're not showing. Virgo. You are carrying an impossible burden on, burden on your back, overloaded with responsibilities. This cargo of consci conscience weighs heavily on your mind. When this card shows up at the beginning of a reading, it can indicate that there is just too much going on. Some readers see this as a sign that the cards should be shuffled and laid again. So <clears throat> I'm not going to do that, but I think that honestly, you're not showing the burdens that you're carrying and you're holding it all inside. You're holding it all inside. And no one really knows what's going on. You're kind of just, that's what I'm getting so far from this. And perhaps you have people that are trying to reach out to you or maybe like some new person that's, you know, trying to reach out to you. It could be new or old, honestly, because even though it says in here that it's, it could represent a new friend and a new, it's, it's just someone offering a cup to you. So someone out there is trying to see and check in, see how you're doing, but they don't really know what's happening, but they notice that you're acting different because you're in this moon situation, right? And then also, because you've got these burdens, something you're just keeping inside and you're not letting it out. You're not, you're not expressing, you're kind of completely shutting down. You don't show your emotions. So you're not expressing it, but it's not going anywhere because it's still there. And then you have the five of wands above, but that's really the best advice that could be given to you at the moment because Eventually, it's it'll get easier. I'll get an advice card after as well. But let's look at the um, past position, which is the three of cups is the past position. Okay. So let's look at that. The three of cups. So in the past position, the Three of Cups, a relationship progresses and love grows. This card can herald the birth of a child or a project close to your heart. It also signifies healing, so you will soon be feeling rejuvenated and recovered. The Three also signals wonderful social events and significant celebrations, such as Christianings and weddings. 
So with this in the past position, I feel either you did meet somebody already, maybe, and then that's, but for some reason you're like, you're here. I don't know, something happening. And <clears throat> so the three of cups is like, or it doesn't have to represent like someone that you um, met, but maybe it's something like it was saying, it could also be like representing like social events and stuff that you've been going to. You've been really active. You've been really having fun with people and friends and meeting more people. So that's in the past. Of course, it's not in the far past, but it's what was previous, right? Where you enjoyed it and it was fun and stuff like that. And now for some reason you're in this moon phase. So let's look at... Um, uh, let's look at the near future. So the near future, it's the Hierophant card, which is a big deal. It's a huge deal, actually. It's a huge deal. <laughs> so, um, the Hierophant card in your near, near future. Keywords, mentors, spiritual authority, um, instruction, traditional wisdom and unity. So Hierophant is a symbol of religious authority. His traditional um, ecclesiastical dress. Did someone just fart? Sorry about that. That's a horrible interruption. I really hope that that wasn't captured. I didn't. Okay. That wasn't me. I don't have soundproof walls. So whatever they're doing out there. Anyway, um, the higher fit. Okay. So traditional ecclesi ecclesiastical dress and crook, crook signify his role as the guardian of the church and shepherd of the people. He signifies unification and he is the spiritual companion of the high priestess. So inspiring words from a respected individual could come about. An opportunity to learn, the unlocking of truths that bring freedom, a time to commit to future growth through further education, career development. Um, there are opportunities now to experience life at a higher level. You may also find that the Hierophant symbolizes a source of comfort during difficult times, along with the knowledge that you are supported by the universe, whatever you do. And so that tells me you could either like there could be a mentor that comes into your life or if they're already in your life and they um help you get through whatever difficulties you're going through and um yeah you know just a whether it be with work or um, any spiritual endeavor that you have so that's that's a good card to get it is so now let's look at um, how you see yourself. So, oh, hold on one second. Okay, so now we're going to look at uh, how you see yourself. And we got the world card. The world card. Okay. Keywords, completion, birth, endings, and beginnings. So it's like, it's just endings and beginnings. The, this is how you see yourself. The world shows an androgynous figure encircled by a green wreath. As the final card in the major arcana sequence, the wreath is the world in its completeness, but within it lays the seed of the new, symbolizing creation. The world gives birth to the child, or zero the fool. And so the cycle of the tarot begins again. A successful outcome with this card appears in a reading. It can be taken as a life landmark, a key move in terms of your lifestyle, or an opportunity to discover new territory physically through traveling to new countries. One chapter of your life is closing. Now it is time for celebration and the next adventure. So perhaps with this being in your, how you see yourself, you, it sounds, it looks like to me that you have accomplished something very, very difficult recently, that you have come to a realization about something. 
that you thought that you weren't able to get through or get past. And you feel that, I mean, it look, it's a great accomplishment is what it is. It is a wonderful accomplishment, actually. And that's awesome that you feel that. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, with the moon here, perhaps this is fairly new. Perhaps this is something that is still fresh. The, the ending of whatever it was is still quite fresh regardless. Um, and so therefore we do have the moon still in the influences in the current situation. Now, I don't know, maybe it has nothing to do with this ending and maybe it's completely disconnected from this whole situation, but it's a different, like another situation that's like a new start, but maybe you're not ready for a new start just yet. And so you're like, I don't think I'm ready for this. Like, for example, you get out of something like a relationship and then somebody else wants to start one with you but you're in this moon because you're like, I don't know if I'm ready for this start. I don't know if I can do this. You know, I just got over a huge chapter that was draining and I have all these <clears throat> wands here at the bottom and I need time. So that could be another thing as well. Um, it's either that or it could also be that this is not fully finished yet and it hasn't had enough closure, even though you feel that you're at that point, almost at that point. So, and then this could represent what I was saying earlier about friends asking you about, you know, how you are just because you're, you're not acting yourself like the moon. So it doesn't have to be like another partner. Um, let's see. And then in the outside influences, we have the page of swords. Okay, I'm going to read that one. Page of Swords. Okay. So, um, Page of Swords, the page can bring good tidings and mentors. Eager to learn and progress, his intelligence shines, and he is a shrewd judge of character. He is no fool, so the message of this card is to muster your wits and stay one step ahead in disputes and negotiations. So your outside influences, perhaps you have people around you that are kind of guiding you through whatever situation you're going through because it does represent, represent like quick witted and they're very like, you know, they, they will be brutally blunt and honest. Perhaps your outside influences, or that could also be something that you're worried about because of those outside influences of judging you in some way. That could also be it too. Or these could be friends that are the ones that help you through things. And there's so many different avenues to go down here. But that could also be um, a possible reason as to why you might be more shut down is because there's something that you're worried about happening here that could be judged if it was out in the open. So... Let's look at your um, hopes and fears. So the hopes and fears <laughs> is the devil. Yeah. So I'm going to read the devil card. Devil, devil, devil. the devil. Keywords, restriction, decisions, manipulation, potential. So like the death card, the devil can unfortunately conjure a certain dread in a reading. Traditionally, he is depicted as giant Beelzebub. I've always thought that word was so funny. I still do. Towering over two shackled demons. Here, he is illustrated as temptation on your shoulder, warning of an ensuing struggle between one's baser and higher instincts. This represents the conflict of opposites. So 
It says you are tied to a commitment that is enslaving you, but it is your perception of this situation that allows it to continue in a way that is ultimately unsatisfying. A financial agreement, a relationship, or a career uh, commitment has become imprisonment rather than liberation. Follow your higher instincts and protect your long-term future. In one jump, you can be free. Wow. Virgo, let me tell you, I feel that. I feel that as well. Trust me. I'm. You're not alone in that. Like, the feelings of certain stuff going on. Yes, for sure. Yeah. I hear you. Um, so let's see. Maybe you're worried about some situation that, uh, coming back. Perhaps that's what it is. You're worried about that. And you're worried about the same cycle happening. That's what I get. Perhaps you're also worried if, if this is like a new thing. Um, by the way, if this is a new thing, like remember the other storyline I was saying is like the Knight of Cups is like a new person. Well, your fears is that you're going to be caught up in the same thing that it's going to turn out to be the same as a past situation. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now, let's look at the outcome. I'm assuming this is... <laughs> I'm now I'm assuming that it is a, a new person, right? I'm assuming it has to be like a, a new individual that has entered in. And so you're worried about that. But let's look at the, um, the outcome. The outcome is the eight of swords. Just remember, I'm not a fortune teller. I'm just, I just read the cards. Okay, so the Eight of Swords shows restriction. The card often reveals overthinking and negative patterns of thought that cloud your vision. At first glance, there appears to be no way out, but the solution lies in finding a strategy rather than becoming a martyr to the situation. In love, this card can show a person who is emotionally unavailable. So that is the outcome. Virgo, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like whatever's happening. Your best bet is to just stay the course um, that you're on and, you know, work on yourself. Work on yourself. And um, you are so strong. You're so strong and you're very talented and you have such a good heart. You have such a good heart and you're an amazing person, such an amazing person. And I just want you to know that you, you're going to inspire so many people. I bet you, you inspire some people even now. I would bet money on that, that you inspire people right now. You're an amazing individual and don't ever forget how truly amazing you are and how special you are. Okay. Continue the course, continue striving for the best you can be because you will be the best you will I know for a fact you will I'm going to pull um, some like a card of advice for you even though I'm I pretty much have all the stuff laid out but I'm I'm gonna just 
do one more, okay? And it's going to be real simple. Just advice. Advice for Virgo right now. Some advice. Okay. Nine of Wands. Okay, I'm going to read this, okay? You got a lot of wands here, by the way. So the Nine of Wands is your advice. A wise application of effort and creative energy. You have great reserves of strength to draw on and supportive people or other safety nets you have put in place for yourself. You are an incredibly strong, you are in an incredibly strong position. This is vital as there may be excessive demands on your time, energy, and financial resources. So you know what I get on that? You know what I get from that? I get that you continue being strong. And you, you are going to have so much success. This tells me that you focus on you and you focus on putting all of your, your efforts into building yourself up and you have all the support you do. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. That was such an amazing read. Like I was about to like lose it because I was feeling it so strong, but I just want you to know that. You have this. You are truly such an inspiration. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I will talk to you next time.